everybody. Welcome to my channel, Creative by Nature. My name is Donna. Today I am sharing with you a Dollar Tree haul. But first, I am just going to show you a few things from Dollarama and your dollar store with more. It's just a few things, so I thought I'd squeeze it into this video. So let me share that. Okay, so my friend Tina Kazarian, I will link her channel down in my description box if you want to check her out. She does some fabulous work with uh, die cutting and this is the paper she typically uses uh, to just punch out her um, samples so I thought I would try this paper out because I haven't yet it's from your dollar store with more it's the forever in time brand our Dollar Tree up here in Canada used to carry it but they don't anymore um, at least not that I've noticed but there's some silver and some like antique gold and then some textured teal, some textured green, and really pretty coral. And this is a mixed pack as well. Kind of the same idea, except there's some gray. And So I thought I'd try that out. And these were, I think they were about $2 a package. So excited to use those. I can use them for all kinds of different things. And for my junk journals, I wanted to do some fabric in them and I didn't have much fabric glue left so I wanted to try this you know the craft medley brand I really really like it it's the same uh, brand as um, forever in time so I wanted to try this out uh, it says it's dries clear flexible washable permanent so thought I'd give that a try and then I also got these wood slices and I believe they were $1.50 a package. I'm sorry, I accidentally threw out my receipt. Not too smart. <laughs> Anyways, they are on a diagonal, so they are more of an oval shape and there's assorted sizes in one package. And yeah, I've got a few different projects planned for these. I got two packages. Okay, and then the few items I got from Dollarama. I got these Poly Flexible Mailers. They're the Duck brand. Uh, I believe, again, they were around $2. And I have seen people using envelope material to bind their junk journals. So I thought I would get some just to give it a try. I don't know if this is the right stuff or not. If not, that's all right, because I've got stuff to mail out. I got some command strips. These were $3.50 a package and there's 12 in each. And I always have a hard time finding these at places like Walmart. So I thought I'd grab what, what was left, <laughs> just the two. And then I wanted to try out this Sharpie and it is, um, it is the thin tip and it says it won't bleed. So I thought I'd give that a try. And then Dollarama finally stocked up on their thin, lace ribbon so I got three white and the three antique cream colored and these were a dollar 25 each okay now on to Dollar Tree my daughter really likes to use this Crayola, Crayola model magic and we always get it in the white because you can paint over it got four packages and these were a dollar 25 each here in Canada and I stocked up on glue so I got the again craft medley and this is the all-purpose premium craft glue somebody had mentioned that the crafter square one was a lot like um fabri or you know the beacon glue brand well you guys this is pretty much the same so my store doesn't have the crafter square glue in yet so i thought you know what if that's the case i am just going to grab these try them out because oh my word fabri is so expensive <laughs> so i wanted to give these a try i grabbed six bottles and then i found one lonely bottle of the beacon foam and poster board adhesive people have been going crazy for this and i've been on the hunt for a while we all know Beacon Glue is a good brand, so I thought, well, I'm going to grab it. I know I had all these, but I really wanted to see what this one was like. So, yeah, $1.25. 
Okay, and then of course they've got all their school supplies out and I love to hit up that department and I grabbed these scissors. They are a thin tip. Actually, maybe I got these ones from Dollarama. You know what? I can't remember. I just, I really liked the thin tip and I didn't pay a whole lot. So yeah, got those. And then in their stationary aisle, they had these beautiful, like, it's like a, um, a folder and it's got the Velcro closure, but look what's inside. Sticky notes. <laughs> I thought these would be so, so fun to use in my garden journal. And I thought, you know what, it would be really cool to copy the template and make some uh, like little booklets using this style. I've seen others haul these and there are some other designs, but this is the only one that my store had. So, and then I wanted to try the crafter square glue sticks. Uh, somebody was asking me which glue sticks I like to use. And I typically use the craft medley brand, but I thought I would give these a try. The only thing is, is that they are for the high temp glue guns. Uh, mine is mid temp, but I think maybe my daughter has high temp. I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm going to give those a try anyways. Okay, my store finally got some of the things I've been on the hunt for. First off, these really pretty bobby pins. There was another style, but I like these ones the best. I like to use these as closures on different things. And you, like you can use these as a, like a paper clip. And then they had the chipboard fencing. Now they had the ones that went up, but I just really like these ones. I can't wait to use these. <laughs> and then they had these. These are pattern stickers, but I really thought it would be cool to use these as maybe some stencils. I'm going to see how um, I can transform these and use them as a stencil. I haven't figured that out yet because I just got them. But love the different patterns. And then I got three of these ones. Again, I'm going to save one for a stencil, but I got two to try to use in some journals. So I was really, really excited to find these. Okay, and then lastly, I found some stickers. <laughs> I loved these flowers and they've got a little wood bead, which I thought was so cute. Now they had other colors, but I just got these off white ones because I thought I could color them myself. I wasn't um, too crazy about the colors that were there. They were kind of a pastel and I don't know. I just really like these ones. And then they had these butterflies. I don't think I've seen anybody else haul these two different sizes and they're metallic gold and I got metallic silver and I got the silver ones for a friend. So yeah, I was super happy to find all these things. I want to thank you all so much for being here. I'm going to have all my different channel links down in the description box down for my DIY decor channel, as well as this one, Art and Life. And let me know what fun new things you've been finding in your Dollar Tree and Dollar Stores. Thank you all so much for being here. Have a wonderful day. Bye.